Hello students, welcome back to my channel CGAT Maths. Myself, Dr. Suresh Nidhar. In this video, we are going to discuss an example based on improper integrals. Okay, convert this function in terms of beta function and further you can convert beta in terms of gamma, that is the relation between beta and gamma function and evaluate this integral. We need to show that integral runs from 0 to pi by 2 into d theta divided by square root of sin theta in, into integral runs from 0 to pi by 2 square root of sin theta into d theta is equal to pi student. Easy example. Okay. Proceed. Solution. So let us take as a even or before going to that. So I need to write the beta function beta of m comma n in second form that is 2 times of integral runs from 0 to pi by 2 sin raised to 2m minus 1 theta into cos raised to 2m minus 1 into theta into dt. So we need to convert in this form student, okay. the easy one. Now let us proceed. Uh, let us take it as i1. i1 is equal to first one is integral runs from 0 to pi by 2 uh, into d theta divided by square root of sin theta. Student, this is equal to 0 to pi by 2 square root of sin theta goes to numerator it will become sin raised to or sin raised to minus 1 by 2 theta into d theta okay. so now 0 to pi by 2 look at this it is sin raised to minus 1 by 2 theta I am going to write here cos raised to 0 theta, cos raised to 0 theta or cos theta whole raised to 0 is 1. For that I am writing, I am replacing this 1 by cos raised to because I need to express in this form. Okay. Okay, look at here, uh, this i1 is uh, similar to what uh, expression number 1. Here sin power is minus 1 by 2, here sin power is 2m minus 1. I need to find out m value and similarly I need to find out n value. On comparison, so we will get student 2m minus 1 is equal to minus 1 by 2 and 2n minus 1 is equal to 0. So 2m is equal to minus 1 by 2 plus 1. Here 2n is equal to 1 and n is equal to 1 by 2. Now here 2m is equal to minus 1 by 2 plus 1 is 1 by 2. So therefore, m is equal to 1 by 4. So therefore, what will happen? Uh, that is uh, Therefore, this will become, this total value becomes uh, beta of m value here you got is 1 by 4 and n value is you have got 1 by 2 divided by divided by 2 student. is 1 by 4 minus sorry 1 by 2 divided by 2. So we have expressed i1 in this form. Similarly i2 is i2 is integral runs from 0 to pi by 2 uh, that is square root of sin theta into d theta. So this can be written as 0 to pi by 2 
this is uh, sine raise to 1 by 2 theta and uh, I am going to write here it is a multiple of cos raise to 0 into theta into d theta because I am going to replace 1 by cos raise to 0 theta and uh, compare same comparison. Okay. So you will uh, get uh, 2m minus 1 equal to 1 by 2 and 2n minus 1 equal to 0. So 2m is equal to 1 plus 1 by 2, 1 plus 1 by 2 is 3 by 2. So m value is 3 by 4, here n value is, so i2 becomes, i2 becomes theta of 3 by 4 comma 1 by 2 divided by 2, you can cross multiply. Fine. Further, so now we have converted in terms of beta student. Further, to evaluate beta function, we need to convert in terms of a gamma. Okay. Now, uh, you can uh, multiply i1 and i2 student. I1 is beta of 1 by 4 comma 1 by 2 divided by 2 2 beta of 3 by 4 comma 1 by 2 divided by 2 so to evaluate or to convert beta in terms of a gamma we use beta of m comma n is gamma of m into gamma of n divided by gamma of m plus n <coughs> So this is gamma of 1 by 4, gamma of 1 by 2 divided by gamma of 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2. This 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 is we can write it as a 1 by 4 outside into again convert it gamma of 3 by 4 into gamma of 1 by 2 divided by gamma of 3 by 4 plus 1 by 2. Now this is 1 by 4 times of look at here uh, you can write this is gamma of 1 by 4 uh, this is gamma of 1 by 2 is root pi student you can remember gamma of 1 by 2 is equal to root pi so this is gamma of 3 by 4 again this is root 5 divided by this is gamma of 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2 that is 3 by gamma of 3 by 4 this is again 3 by 4 plus 2 by 4 is 5 by 4 student gamma of 5 by 4 so now it I want to convert gamma of 5 by 4 in terms of gamma of 1 by 4. How to achieve this? We know that gamma of n plus 1 equal to n gamma n. There is one more property student. Now gamma of 5 by 4 can be written as 1 by 4 plus 1. All right. Gamma of 5 by 4 can be written as 1 by 4 plus 1. 1 by 4 plus 1 written as 1 by 4 gamma 1 by 4. In place of this, you can replace 1 by 4 gamma 1 by 4. Further, it will become uh, this is 1 by 4 as it is. Uh, gamma of 3 by 4, gamma of 3 by 4 get cancelled. You have only gamma of 1 by 4, root pi into root pi is pi divided by this can be replaced by 1 by 4 into gamma of 4, 4, 4 get cancelled, gamma of 1 by 4, gamma of 1 by 4 get cancelled. You remain, uh, it remains only pi, that is the RHS. Student. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. We will meet in the next.